They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Left all my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression. It's all that I wanted. The phone and affection. I summon and dub it. Cause check out problems on problems. What's going on, people? It's the Xbox. 448 and today guys I have a couple topics to talk about but first um I am pointing out the gameplay right now what you're seeing is uh some of my not most recent gameplay from Need for Speed Heat but it's kind of there in the middle I will let you know I did beat the story for Need for Speed Heat at least um, I'm thinking it's the first part of the story I definitely want to do a review on this game because I feel like the marketing has not been there for this game which is really weird to me because I think this is a a callback a um a reinvigoration of the Need for Speed franchise I feel like this is a really good game and I really need to go into detail about it but I can't do it in today's video. Today's video, uh, first off, it, you know, I'm going to talk about Death Stranding. I'm going to kind of put my last word on Death Stranding uh, in a more kind of like positive note, if you think about it, when I, when I break it down. And I want to talk about the PS5 controller. So first off, uh, Death Stranding. Now, we all know there's been people arguing um, on Twitter about this game. You know, FedEx Simulator or, or the, the ambiance is great. People have been going back and forth about Death Stranding. And one of the main reasons why is when the embargo was lifted for the uh, reviews, the reviews were really all over the place. I mean, uh, to the point where reviewers were giving the game a really high score but then also saying that the game was boring or clunky or sloggy or things that you don't necessarily kind of like you know put together with a really high review score and you know i was thinking about this and we gotta give we gotta put that common sense out there we gotta we gotta look at things with a level head i know there are common sense gamers out there and I and I believe a lot of them are subscribed to this channel, so I think you might you might dig my my little breakdown here on on the reviews and why that happened and why that might not necessarily be the end all be all when it comes to Death Stranding. Now, uh, you know, reviewers get the copies early and they get a chance to play the game, and you know they put their review scores out there. Uh, when the embargo lifts now from what I'm seeing the people who are enjoying Death Stranding when they show things on Twitter they are showing their interactions with items and and things that other other players that are in the Death Stranding world have placed or started to build or you know put it out there for other people to help build and stuff like that like a highway uh, I saw somebody you know riding their motorcycle on this highway that a bunch of uh, gamers came together and built in Death Stranding to make your, your travel easier to a specific location. And I see a lot of people kind of like putting those out there, those, those events, those instances that uh, they seem to really enjoy. Now, when it comes down to the reviewers, I don't think the reviewers had a chance to really uh, kind of grasp or get a handle on those events in that game. All right. Now, when it comes to the core gameplay, you know, I stated it and I, I, quite a few other people have stated it, it, you know, the core gameplay on its own doesn't, doesn't stand up to a lot of gamers out there. Right. But when you add in that instance of, of sharing and interacting with things that other people have put in the world and working together to build something in that world that'll either make the game easier or, you know, I've seen uh, Horizon Zero Dawn statues that I think were built by people in the community, stuff like that. Um, that is a part of the game. That is a part of the enjoyment of the game that I don't think the reviewers were able to kind of get in there and really utilize and, and mess around with while they were doing their reviews. So, you know, when it comes down to it, I know it was a little weird, especially some of the reviews. Like I said, they would give it a really high 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, but then they would call the game boring. Um, I, I feel like that added element that people are showing on Twitter 
you know, could definitely be a lot of fun for people. Um, and, and it could be something that really drives people to keep playing that game. So at, at the end of the day, you know, it, it looks like there is some fun to be had in Death Stranding. Um, the core gameplay aspect, like I said, it's it's not going to cater to everybody. But I, I feel like that interaction with other people and, and building things in that world could, you know, get, a, you know, quite a few gamers out there to have fun with the game. So, you know, that's that's what it is here on this channel. I call it how I see it. And, and I feel like that was one of the things within the reviews that the reviewers didn't really get a chance to really, you know, get their hands on or wrap their mind around. Or, and I think that's something that really could be enjoyable to gamers out there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it on that. So let's get into the PS5 controller. The PS5 controller patents have been leaked. And again, guys, take this with a grain of salt because you know when it comes to patents uh companies put out patents all the time and uh a lot of the time they don't even deal with that patent they just they they do the patent in case this is what they're gonna do with hardware or something like that but then they never they never actually do it but a picture surface that i i will show you in this video right now here we go this is a picture from the patent for supposedly the new DualShock 5. And there are a couple interesting things here when it comes to the DualShock 5. First off, if you look at the thumbsticks, the thumbsticks look like they are a lot shorter than what the thumbsticks usually are on a DualShock controller, you know? And I feel like if they do make the, the joystick shorter like that, it does add to the control of the gamer i feel like it it, it tightens kind of like the radius and the movement uh you know from using these thumbsticks which could improve kind of like performance and and quality of of whatever game you're playing or whatnot as you can see it seems that there is a touchpad still in the middle of the controller now some people love the touchpad some people absolutely hate the touchpad it's either you know it's either here or there i i feel like when it comes down to it uh if they're gonna use the touchpad on the controller i think developers need to utilize that more um if you see below the playstation button um there seems to be or above the playstation button my bad guys above the playstation button there is a a what i call a speaker vent so it seems like they, they will also put the speaker back into the controller as well, which I thought was a really cool feature, especially when I was playing Infamous Second Son and I had to use um, the spray paint can to like tag graffiti on a wall and you can hear the, the ball in the spray paint can when you're shaking your controller. Your controller sounds like a spray paint can. It's got the little ball mixing up the paint in, inside the can. I thought that was a really, really cool idea. Again, I, I hope that developers like truly utilize this feature if this is the DualShock 5. Now, there is something else that um, came with this controller, this patent, this possibility for the DualShock 5 and that is no more light bar and you know people are kind of scratching their head but I thought that was used for tracking with PSVR and and all that good stuff now um the PSVR 2 version 2 should be coming out you know on or around launch date for the PS5 maybe somewhere within that first year and from what I'm hearing they have a lot of tracking in the headset all right they have a lot of the the movement tracking and stuff already in the headset plus i feel like they're gonna come out with a new version of the move controllers now i i've stated that when it comes to the move controllers which right now they are in a a stick form i hope that you know playstation utilizes that motion controller um design from like the oculus controllers that kind of like ring around uh your hand that deals with the motion and stuff like that but when it comes down to it this can only be a good thing when it comes to this controller because the light bar was one of the issues 
that was draining the battery. And you know, for people out there who say the battery was fine on the DualShock 4, I've gone in and I've checked comments on Twitter and stuff like that about this new controller patent and what this might mean for like PlayStation gamers out there. And one of the biggest things that people were talking about with the DualShock 4 was the horrible battery life. So some people might try to put a good spin on it and all that good stuff might be like, yeah, you know, you're putting batteries in your in your controller. That's so last generation. But there are a lot of PlayStation gamers out there who do not like the battery life of the DualShock 4. So taking away the light bar, you know, putting in motion controls in the, the next version of the PSVR headset and hopefully redesigning the the motion controllers that that PlayStation came out with. No more move sticks. I hope they redesign it, get more into kind of like the Oculus kind of like feel of the controllers. Uh, it can only be a good thing, guys. Um, hopefully increase battery life on the DualShock 5. They use a better internal battery and just keep it moving forward but yeah guys that's pretty much it for for now that's the information that i got today it is monday um happy monday out there uh you know i might stream today kind of like a mtm type stream and for people who don't know what mtm stands for it's make it through monday i'm thinking about doing something like that maybe with the game that you're seeing right now maybe a little Need for Speed Heat on Mixer with my Spotify playlist. Uh, put in some, you know, some some songs that, that kind of cater to me more or whatnot. I, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. But we'll see what goes on today. Uh, but this is the news for now. These are the topics for now. Definitely hit the comment section. Let me know what you think about my idea about the Death Stranding reviews and how... You know, people out there could definitely be having fun with this game. And, and from what I'm see, seeing, it's all about the interactions with what people have put into the world, what they're kind of asking people to build in the world. And it's it's more the interactions between, you know, the gamers inside the world that it seems might be the most fun in that game. And, and definitely comment about... The patents for the DualShock 5. Let me know what you think about the shorter, the, the shorter thumbsticks. Um, I, I think that could be definitely a good thing for, for the next DualShock controller. Uh, and the no light bar as well. Um, I want to know if, if you have issues with the battery life with your DualShock 4. If you think like it, it really doesn't kick it um, in terms of, of your gaming habits. And, and then... You know, if they keep that that touchpad, uh, what do you think about the touchpad? Do you think that they've utilized it this generation uh, really well? Do you think developers could have definitely done more with it? And do you think that is a feature on the DualShock controller that should move into the PlayStation 5 generation? But as usual, guys, if you like the topic, you like the gameplay that you're seeing, definitely hit that thumbs up button for me. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. We are we are on the verge of 4,000 subscribers, and at 5,000 subscribers, I will be giving away a console of the winner's choice, whether it is a PS4, PS4 Pro, Xbox One, uh, Xbox One X, whether it's a Project Scarlet or a PlayStation 5. The winner gets to choose what console they want. So we, we are getting there, guys. Uh, the channel is growing. I, I thank you guys for all the support. And um, that's pretty much my video for today. So as for now, this is the Xbox 448. And I am definitely signing off.